the first one we have up here is, of course, the blue screen heard around the world. So unless you've been living under a rock for the last couple of weeks, I am sure that at some point you turned on your local news, you read on a blog, you saw it popping through a Teams feed that there was over, I think it was what, close to 9 million people. I think it was 8.5 right. million was the official number from Microsoft customers that were impacted by just endpoints erroring out and hitting a blue screen when they were trying to do a restart. Yeah. Uh, ultimately, it was diagnosed that this problem was a faulty system file update by the cybersecurity company called CrowdStrike. And, it, you know, it, it impacted airlines, it impacted banks, you name it. If you had CrowdStrike on a system, you probably got hit by this. Right. 8.5 million sounds like it is a lot of machines and it is, but I think at the end of the day, it was like less than 3% or something like that of like yep. the total windows install point. And yeah. people are probably like, well, if it was such a big number, how could it be such a small percentage? And it's just because this affected for the most part, enterprise or business level customers that were right. using this software. And CrowdStrike is, is uh, quite, I guess I would say it is used by some of the more secure or kind of like security required kind of companies. So airlines, city government, banks, hospitals. So this this type of software was used by some of the most crucial services that that everyone uses. So I would say for someone like me, you know, I'm a training consultant, you know, I, I, I don't have that system. I don't use CrowdStrike. So my machine wasn't affected, but we know of so, so many that were. Yep. Yeah. And I mean, so I had air travel in between the last show at the end of June and this show today and last week, like all my flights were Delta. I typically always fly Delta and everything got pushed back, canceled. I'm still waiting on refunds. And I'm sure that there's hundreds and thousands of other customers and folks that were affected by the same thing on the last show before we kind of took our, our like midsummer break here is we were talking about regulation around artificial intelligence and how there's maybe five companies out there that have so much market share out that out there of different products. And this is just one of those, this is a perfect example of that is a very large percentage of computers that are crucial to day-to-day -day business mm -hmm. had CrowdStrike on them. And CrowdStrike regularly does these system file updates yeah. and it's very silent in the background. No one notices anything. And this update, I don't believe, and I don't work for CrowdStrike, so I'm I'm a, I'm making some assumptions here. But it wasn't much different than a normal update. The problem was is that somehow that system level file that has kernel access to the machine, and I won't get too in the depth, but mm -hmm. kernel level operations are basically before you turn on your computer, your 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 computer, your motherboard needs to be know what order of operations it's going to boot everything up on. Mm -hmm. So it looks for boot drivers as part of those files. That sys file was there from CrowdStrike, and it had a null pointer in it, to my understanding. So when the system tried to boot itself and it couldn't find the right drivers to load, it just basically went, I don't, I don't know what to do, and mm -hmm. just got stuck into a boot loop. Um, so the uh, the update went out about 12 o'clock in the morning. It affected quite a lot of customers. CrowdStrike says that they caught it pretty early and stopped it from hitting more machines. So it doesn't see, sound like every machine that CrowdStrike manages was necessarily affected, though I would imagine that it was a very large amount of them. And it, once it hit that, the only way to fix this, unfortunately, was you needed physical access to the machine, mm -hmm. which we live in a very hybridized world now where almost everything is controlled remotely, or you needed a way to be able to get those machines to kind of boot into a Pixie or a pre-boot environment to be able mm -hmm. to correct the problem. So unfortunately, because of how spread out we are, how diverse, how hybrid everything is now and how managed IT, um, mm -hmm. I mean, there's a lot of examples of smaller businesses having an IT team and then outsourcing it to CrowdStrike and then not having those resources. Right. Is, 
all those machines had to be touched. So I was walking through the airport on Thursday when I came back last week, and there was still machines in the Buffalo International Niagara Airport that had blue screens on them. And they were the non-critical machines, probably. Right. But it just goes to show how big of an impact and how long it takes. Right, to fix right. It. Like there was businesses down for days. Yeah, um, absolutely. So long story short, I really wanted to just kind of highlight this. We were off on our midsummer break when all of this stuff happened. This would have made an excellent Let's Talk episode to kind of talk through everything that was happening. But Microsoft has issued tools in tandem with CrowdStrike yep. to help fix these problems for customers that are affected. If you are still affected and you need assistance, you can reach out to Microsoft, CrowdStrike, or if you need some assistance, Vertiva is happy to help provide that as well. Mm -hmm. uh, you can contact us through the normal methods of our Let's right. Talk email address. Right. 